Bingo, bingo. How many different organs does Lopa recover? I would say like 50, but do we even have that many in our body? <laughs> Twelve. I'm going with twelve. I lost count in my head, but I'm going with twelve. As it is, one person can save up to eight lives. Heart can be uh, transplanted to one patient, of course. Lungs, since you have two, can be transplanted to one or two, and the same thing with the kidneys. And then the the pancreas, oftentimes is is transplanted isolated with you know into one recipient, but sometimes will go combined with the kidney because diabetes causes kidney failure oftentimes. So, and then the, the liver can be either transplanted into one or two. It's one liver, but because it regenerates, then it can be separated into two separate recipients oftentimes. And then the intestines can all be also be transplanted. So if you add that up, that's actually nine organs, but because of the vessels that you need vessels to attach into the, the recipient, only you only have enough vessels for eight patients. He's <laughs> <laughs> You keep up with that. I'll just say my question. <laughs> How many people can benefit from one tissue donor? A lot. Give me a number. Say it now. Oh my God, you're scared. <laughs> you're supposed to just give us on your head. Uh. <laughs> I'm not going to do that one um, again. <laughs> 50. 50. God, that was scary. That's a lot of people. I'm a little tissue. It's a tissue. There's a tissue everywhere. Yes, 50 is, is the answer. Uh, roughly about 50 people can be healed from one person saying yes to tissue donation. Ooh. No way. You like, like you got a new car. <laughs> I did. <laughs> How much does it cost to be an organ donor? It costs money. I thought it was, it's free. I thought it was uh, free. It's free right? <laughs> That's absolutely correct. Uh, the answer is it is free. It's a life saving gift from one to another. Yeah. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> what is the number one organ people are waiting for? Lungs. Kidney, because that one's the most popular. Like you, you always hear about kidney transplants and stuff. Okay. I'm I think it's kidney. Final lungs. answer. Lungs. Final answer. Well, the kidney is the correct answer. Over 85% of the people on the wait list are waiting for a life-saving kidney. Oh! Let's go. Oh. What percentage of people waiting in Louisiana are minorities? <laughs> that was a share. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do it again okay. so I can prove my point. Um, okay, 30%. 20, 30%. That's a lot. I give it a good 25. Or 15. 25. I don't know. I mean, it was like 10. Oh, uh, there's a lot of mm. like, older people that. Yeah. I need transplants because we eat so bad on there. True. Yeah, we can stick with 10. Let's go. 10%? 10 to 15%. I think I'm going go with, with you. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the majority of the wait list nationwide is made up of minorities. Here in Louisiana, the number is right around 65%, so two thirds. Mm -hmm. Most are waiting for a life saving kidney. Really? Oh, that's tough. What is brain death? When your brain is like, when you're considered like brain dead, like kind. Of, nope. <laughs> I think that's right. <laughs> no. no, I think that's right. Like, like when, like when you're in a, isn't like when you're in a coma, like your brain dead. Your body doesn't. Wait, no. Your body works, but your brain, brain doesn't, doesn't. I think. It is similar to a coma, except brain death is when you lose all neurofunction. 
a coma generally you'll have at least one brain stem still working. So, uh, so that's the distinguishable difference. A brain death is the legal time of death. So that means you're actually dead, like you can't come back. No. Oh, well. Who can be an organ donor? Anyone. Anyone any, that has organs. Any person living. Any person. <laughs> yes, any living person can donate. You can donate your kidneys because you have two of them. Uh, so you can donate one kidney to someone in need, or you can do the same with your liver. Uh, your liver can be split, and you can actually donate a segment of your liver to someone who is also in need. The majority of donors are deceased donors, and uh, in order to become a, a deceased donor, one would have to pass away from a brain injury. So it's a very unique opportunity, but anyone can still become a deceased donor if they pass away in that manner. So please don't rule yourself out. Uh, all right. What kind of illnesses rule you out as a candidate for donation? Mm. I feel like diabetes or something. Pancreatitis. <laughs> Cancer. Yeah, makes sense. I don't know. Anything that's like hard on your organs. I don't know. I don't know. What else? Like, what if you get like, yeah, tumors or cancer? You know, kind of thing. You have the disease. You don't want to get that from the disease, flesh eating disease. Yeah. My organ. I can't do it. <laughs> All right. Happen. That's what we got. Well, yes, uh, diabetes and pancreatitis can actually rule you out just for that specific organ, just for the pancreas. But in general, you can still donate other organs if you have diabetes or hypertension or other things that are hard on certain organs. Some active cancers preclude donation, while others don't. And especially, uh, oftentimes, if you're in remission for quite some time, you can still become an organ donor. Now, lately, just over the last few years, with the HOPE Act, now HIV-positive donors can donate to HIV-positive recipients. So, in general, uh, there are very few diseases, if any, that really rule you out. How many people per day do you think die waiting on a life-saving organ? Mm, probably like somewhere in the hundreds, I think. I'm saying somewhere in the 20s, 20 a day. 20s. Somewhere in the 20s is correct. It's actually, uh, right now, it's 22 people die every day waiting for a life-saving organ. All right. What types of tissues does Loper recover? Does it say organ, organ tissues. That's a tissue. Could it be? That's a tissue. Right? Or... <laughs> <laughs> Look at me for all answers. I don't know. I don't know either. What do you think? Uh, tissue, tissue, tissue. Like tissue can be so many things. Any tissue, all tissues. Kleenex. Oh, what type? <laughs> Skin is a tissue, right? Okay, I just asked you when you asked me. <laughs> well, I was. I have great. nothing for I you. I was confirming. <laughs> so we're gonna yeah, go with. Good answer. <laughs> Muscle tissue and organs and yeah. Skin. Skin. That's what we got. <laughs> I like the Kleenex answer. Uh, but it's actually uh, skin, bones, tendons, veins, and heart for heart valve. All right, last one. I have a question. How can someone register to be an organ donor? I know I did at the DMV. At the DMV? <laughs> I was getting my license, and they said, do you want to be an organ donor? I said, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, all right, you're an organ donor. <laughs> now I got the heart. Yeah, I got the heart. That's a good start. Most people do register at the DMV. Now we have a lot of options to donate or to register to donate. If you're here in Louisiana, you can uh, register on www.lopa.org or nationally, that uh, website is registerme.org. And then if you've got an iPhone, the health app on the iPhone, you can register there as well. <laughs>